Hi there, Neil Clark here of Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com A little bit different today, as you can see, I'm going to start off reading from this bit of paper here Welcome to the channel Videos contained here are designed as aid memoirs for my pupils, although they're free for anyone to use If you're benefiting from the videos, please subscribe to the channel This is completely free to do May I also ask that you consider supporting my chosen charity, Parkinson's UK by donating to my Just Giving page, the link can be found in the comments box below this video. This is me, it is my face, I'm not just a lower half of a torso and nine fingers blowing a practice chanter. What we're doing today is I've actually just moved my teaching room from uh, what was basically a bedroom up the stairs and I was never quite happy taking people to a bedroom upstairs to teach them. So uh, we did think about moving house but we actually like it here, here in Larbert and Burnhead Road. We like it very much. So what we've done is we've turned our lounge or our living room into what is now a teaching come practice room. Now we also practice ourselves and we have friends around who play instruments. So they can all sit in here as well. In the bedroom that we uh, used before, it's now our lounge. So we sit at the back of the house and get peace there. I'm going to show you around the place quickly. This is outside. We live at the side of Falkirk Trist Golf Club, which the golf club itself is reasonably old, but the area is very, very, very old. The Trist was a cattle market. Uh, been here for perhaps, say, 300, 350 years. The cattle market used to be at Creef, but that was a little bit too close to the Highland line because the Highlanders would come down and steal your coos. So it was moved here and it was in Falkirk Trist on the common ground here, which is now a golf course. That's my little red car there. I don't get out in it very much because I'm always teaching in here. Other interesting thing about the Falkirk Trist is that in 1781, the first organised professional competition by the Highlands Society of London was organised. And it was actually in Falkirk itself, not on Falkirk Trist, but it was around the time of the Falkirk Trist Cattle Fair. And there's still a long weekend a holiday here during what was the cattle fair time. That's quite unusual to see as much traffic going past there. It's usually a very quiet road. So, into the teaching room. The first thing you see, or you don't see it because it's on the other side of the door, the obligatory sign, bagpipes are noisy, please wear your earplugs. If you don't have any, please ask us for some. Now, we do have some, but they're pretty cheap and nasty earplugs. That's really for our own... Uh, our own protection, we have to say that for health and safety. Here we have the teaching table. When people come to the house, they will sit on these two seats that you see here. I'll probably be sitting in the slightly more comfortable seat here. And if you're on Skype, this is the other end of the camera. This is where I sit, and this is where I'll be teaching you from from now on. What you can see to one side, I've got my printer down there, just put it there 30 minutes ago. We have a banner sitting there, it's one of these pull-up banners that says Glenn Bervey, Folk Duo and Falkirk Piping. Three guitars! Why does Katie Bervey need three guitars? I don't know. But there's three guitars there. There is also three clarinets in these wee boxes there. In that slightly bigger box, that's my main set of pipes, my solo set if you like. But also, more realistically, it's the set that are in modern pitch because I still play in modern pitch. But I also spend a lot of the time playing in B flat, and we'll come back to that set in a minute. This little multicoloured hippie thing here, that's actually a mandolin. That's my latest project. I have a grand total of three chords and the G major scale on the mandolin. And I might annoy you with that. Down here, what we have? A selection of cleaning brushes and practice chanters. You'll see there, I don't know if you can actually pick that out, but there's a long practice chanter and a short practice chanter, because people come with both, and there's a slight clash when you're trying to play them both together. So, I have both, so I can play both with you. Hello again. Swinging back round here, I'll try not make you sick. There's a the trist again. And up here, I don't have all the paintings up, but this is my pal. This is Fluff, Mr. Brian Edgerson. That's us both in the 2nd Battalion Scots Guards in Cyprus, round about 1984. Fluff is dead now, he died of cancer three years ago, and we've been doing a few uh, 
charity events in his memory since. Very, very good guy. As you can see, there he's up there. When you're being taught down here, or indeed on Skype here, Mr. Brian Wong Aitchison is watching you at all times. Moving around here, this basically is the music book library, the piping music book library, because there's more than piping goes on in here. Maintenance items down here, that is to say maintenance items that I'm likely to use from day to day. In the big cupboard there, there's more serious music items. If things go a little bit haywire and I'm pulling my hair out, I will be going into that cupboard there to try and find something to fix your bagpipes. Here we have items sort of sir, for sale. We have cards there, business cards, Falker Piping, Anglin Berry Folk Duo. And in the back there you can see this is an old CD made a few years ago, Pipes and Drum, it is still for sale. That's when we were up on the banks of Loch Ness at Drum the Drocket. Quick kick up the top here. I still have lots of ornaments that belong to my grandparents. This is an Argyle officer. Numerous little lead pipers, I collect them. This was presented to me when I left the Scots Guards in 1986. Quickly moving past the drummer there, don't know where he came from. Chap from, I believe, the 91st Highlanders, but that's the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. That was my grandfather's regiment. I was in the Scots Guards. Moving along here. Obligatory Edinburgh Tattoo photograph. This one is from 1981, before most of the present cast was even born. I'm down there somewhere, and I'm only aged 16 in that, in that one there. I'm not going to spend too much time looking through here. This is the kitchen. It's the Mrs. Domain in general. Again, back to ornaments that used to belong to my grandparents. A Scots Guardsman there. Isn't he smart? Sort of buckled over half drunk Piper there, but he's, he's hold his own and he's uh, he has been broken a few times, but he's been fixed and he's still standing there majestically. There's an Argyle. Couldn't help that, but he looks okay. This thing here. Uh, we were stationed in Cyprus, 1984 to 1986, and it's really just a, a brass uh, plaque in the shape of a Scots Guards Piper's Cap Star, not Cap Badge, Cap Star. And I think it was either Jack Oakes or Steve Duffy that actually had these made, uh, but we all got one. I don't know what happened to the one that I kept, but this again is the one that I gave to my grandparents. Moving along from that... This is my teacher certificate from the Piping and Drumming Qualifications Board. I'm also an examiner for the Piping and Drumming Qualifications Board, although, to be honest, I don't really expect to have to use that in any time. Down here, we have a very basic music system and a hunting horn. Everyone should have a hunting horn. I'm not going to play it for you just now. Moving across here, this is what I would really uh, refer to as my war chest because it has two sets of bellows pipes only one bellows a set in C that I'm holding here a set in A and a set of uh, McGranger I think Granger bagpipes uh, and they're set in B flat for playing with other instruments we're nearly done here music stands this one's quite robust it can hold a full Peabrock Society volume uh, with uh, 12 Peabrock Society books in it Moving up again, there's more of my little lead pipers. Uh, and in front of that, what, what that is there, that's a stein. And I got that on a visit to Odenwald in Germany in 1980. More pipers and my other stein with, uh, I believe, a couple of black watch pipers and some guardsmen running about. An assortment of piping CDs. And over here, this is a tower of Robert Burns CDs. Now, uh, Brian Fluff, he gave me that uh, shortly before he dies, and I, I play them regularly because, again, I know the chap is watching all the time. So that's pretty much it. If you come in here now, the room is slightly bigger than the one that's upstairs. I don't think you can actually see that very well. But uh, this is the new room, and uh, our first pupil will be on Skype at 1600 hours UK this afternoon. So, I don't know if you're going to see this before or not, Tanya, but welcome to the new room, and I'll catch up with you in about two and a half hours' time. So, folks, uh, this is the, the new regime. I read this stuff before and after, because don't forget, we are collecting for Parkinson's UK. My dad is also a piper. 
and he was diagnosed with Parkinson's a couple of years ago. You will find the link to my Just Giving page just below this video in the comments box. And what's quite good is Parkinson's UK have said that 50% of the takings from the Just Giving page will go to our local Parkinson's branch in Falkirk. Now, it's a slow feed thing. It's going to be ran for at least four years, possibly five years. We have made £500 already. This is the 21st of August, 2019. My target is £4,444. Now, that's a bit of a strange one, but that's how many subscribers I had on the YouTube channel up to that point. So if you all, all you subscribers, donated £1 each, and the tens of thousands more of you, who I know are still watching, you just haven't subscribed, decided to d donate perhaps £1 each, we would make a lot of money for Parkinson's UK. Uh, please, if you're passing, people do. People come from all over the world just to take lessons here. That took me by surprise as well. But people come and, uh, come and visit, stay for three days. We can take groups of perhaps up to three now, comfortably. We have a separate room for piping. If you look here, what you'll see, that's a fireplace behind the set of bagpipes there and we have a next door neighbour but he's a good guy and he likes pipes so we can play pipes in here as well in fairness he's a fireman and he gets called out at all hours of the night and I don't mind that either so we're all happy families here uh, in Burnhead Road in Larbor near Falkirk so said enough thanks very much for having a look oh the tartan the tartan I believe is uh, ancient Strathairn got it from uh, oh somewhere somewhere near Perth. So, thanks very much for bearing with me. I hope you found that interesting, and I'll see you soon.